It has been a minute since I've worked on the old trailer. Banged up knee, a lot of bed rest over the winter, uh, January, February. I finally have a little bit of time to get back to it. First thing I gotta do is get it out of that mess of a garage over here. So let's get at it. We'll get the trailer out front and center here and see if we can't get the winch mounted and possibly uh, functioning where that thing can uh, raise its own mast today. We'll see. All right, I've got some stuff moved around here. And uh, I had a battery sitting up here. Old battery for my kid's bike. Didn't even think about it. You can kind of see it wore away. I don't know if that's battery acid or what, but just gonna, I just wiped it off. I'm gonna zap this with some fresh paint real quick. It's not gonna be perfect, but I mean, heck, none of this trailer is perfect. All right, this claims it's blue, we'll find out. Good enough. Sure, there's gonna be more scratches and stuff on here, but this didn't want it to rust needlessly. This cable here was bad. I ordered a new one. Uh, United Rentals is a service parts distributor for Almond, who makes this trailer. And so they were able to get me the factory original cable for this. And it's it's got a press fit anchor connector that ties up in here. I don't think you can see it. In here somewhere. And then uh, it shoots all the way, all the way up, all the way back down. Squirts out the bottom here. There's a pulley we're gonna install down here. And then this cable feeds and then we're gonna mount the winch to the inside, this guy. Down there somewhere so you can see where that pulley goes right down there so I'm just saying you just three quarter inch ratchet Now to find the winch and uh, unthread the, uh, the line. All right, found it. I lied, it's a 2,000 pound winch. Rug cell. Looks Chinese made, I don't care. Uh, it's just gonna hoist the trailer. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. And uh, it doesn't, it might have a free spool, we'll see. All right. I have manual, don't really care. It's got a little fair lead. I don't know if we're gonna need it. Um, just set this neatly on my workbench there. Mounting plate. It's kind of nice that this comes with a mounting plate. A lot of the winches don't include that. You gotta buy that separate as part of a kit of some sort. It does have a halfway decent looking uh, release and the most industrial looking switch I think I've ever seen. So we have this guy. I think we can just mount him. What do you 
cool if those holes they help me, but I think we're gonna just mount them like that. We gotta get that cabling off of there. So and then I'll grab that switch and show you what that looks like. That's kind of comical looking though. Some galvanized mounting hardware, which is more than sufficient. All right, and this guy. Those are some substantial buttons. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Suppose it gets us up and running for the day though, right? So I guess I will work on getting this released. Um, pull out and turn. That disengages it. Snap it into place. That actually feels more solid than some of the worn stuff. Although that new one seems to have a pretty decent clutch engagement. This one's pretty simple, but probably far more effective. So I'll get done winding this and we'll get the other one. We'll get this thing mounted up there then. And uh, we'll uh, see about getting her powered up and go from there. All right, I got that cable all out of there. Neatly spooled on the floor. Uh, there's just a little set pin in there. It looks like it's just an Allen key that's holding the end of that line in. And I might need to drill that hole out. The cable we've got here is, I think, a 3 eighths cable. And they got what looks to me like a quarter-inch cable on here now. Uh, I can bring this guy up and around here. There's a substantial difference between those two. So, um, again, we're just using it as a hoist, um, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, but I'll get her, get her wound up here. All right, got it on there. That radius is gonna be fun. I think I'm just gonna tap it down there with a the hammer to make that first radius. This cable doesn't wanna quite bend on that small radius, so we'll, uh, we'll do what we can and uh, crank her on up and then uh, get this thing mounted. All right, used one of the existing mounting holes right here. Drilled another one here to fit the base of the winch. And then uh, you saw how that radius was. I just held it tight and uh, started winching it back. And she seems to be doing just fine. And now I've just got it temped up to the battery here uh, just to get things tight. I'm going to actually try to see if she'll go up here a little bit. Don't have enough projects. So we're gonna lay this guy down. We're gonna pull this. And we're not going up real high because obviously we're in the garage here. But I just kinda wanna see if she does what she needs to. Okay, that set pin is released. Let's see what happens. So this is where that slack switch would come in handy because right now I can just use that winch and uh, it will immediately, or it, it will allow the winch to continue operating. If I get that slack switch, as soon as this starts to have some play in it, it stops the winch from, from running. Um, I thought it was a safety thing. It's actually just so you don't spool your entire winch out um, if you're not paying attention. So, all right, that's kind of cool. All right, the jacks for the back are on hold. I gotta buy new circlips. Uh, something that's got a narrower width to match what's on there. Uh, I don't wanna replace 
the brackets because they're galvanized. Uh, the new ones are just cheap steel, uh, you know, and uh, if I can avoid having to weld something like that, I'm going to. So I'll just buy new circlips that are the right dimensions for that. Still got to take that crossbar off. That guy goes across there. And then we're going to put some additional piping in there. Um, we'll use those bolts to mount a camera and some other stuff there. But um, And we'll use this little platform to mount some stuff. But we have to come up with an umbilical of some sort yet. But got the winch in. I'm going to haul it out just to see if I can get the thing up in the air in the middle of the cul-de-sac out here for giggles. And then uh, I just want to say I did it. I'm well aware. I have a question for you. snap back in place now and now what we do is we unlock this guy maybe oh, I gotta hold him down while I do this Spring. All right, now the winch is spooling. I probably need to give it a little. things back up and we're good to go next project here is a floor I might have to go and get some additional pieces I wish I had gotten a few more of those those are scraps at Menards uh, they're the composite decking material uh, I got that last summer but I'm gonna take put a couple of pieces of something there I've got some if you look way way over there I got some pressure treated lumber I think I'm gonna put across here to give me something to anchor to 
and then those will get bolted down to the old engine mounts and then I will mount that flooring material and screw that down into that. And that should bring me not too far above the level here. And that'll give me a floor. None of this is weather tight. I have a different box for that. Um, uh, I'm okay with that because we're gonna have the generator in here. Um, I haven't figured out how things are gonna be arranged, but the way that generator sits, I'd prefer everything can be accessed from the from one side and the controls on this are already set up for the driver's side. And this generator I can spin either way. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll set it up so that it's easy to pull start it from the same side. And then we'll have a couple of batteries. I think I'm gonna set up one battery that's specific for the winch and then I'll set up two additional batteries that we'll tie to this guy uh, that will power the radio gear. And we'll eventually do an inverter with solar and stuff, but we're, not, we're just trying to get this thing operational at this point. So we'll get, get this going. I'm close. I just need to finish it. This winch was the big thing. We're going to go see and see if we can't get this up in the air.